Welcome to the Insane Gorillas Podcast. This week we're going to be talking about the film I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. And this week we're also going to just talk about... Uh, this is going to have some spoilers and we recommend you watch the movie beforehand. We don't usually do that, but I think for this one we definitely you should definitely watch the movie before we talk about it. Um, so yeah. I think let's just go ahead and get into it. Uh, anyone want to start or begin? Yeah, I'll start, I guess. I'm eager. Um, I've seen this movie like, I've like, well now I've seen this movie 14 times now, like no joke. I've seen this movie 14 times because I fucking, I love this fucking movie. I love this fucking movie. It is so good. It is so fucking good. And um, I don't know. For me, like I, I don't know. This is one of those movies I show to other people who I want to like get to watch, like anime or something like that. Um, some people it has the effect of like making them cry out, like cry, cry. You know, that's what it does for me. Every time I watch, there are like three moments that I cry, without question, at every single time. And like, I don't know. It's this is this, I don't know this this movie is just so it's just so ah, it's so beautiful it's so it's so beautiful it's so fucking beautiful ah, I don't know well like, let's I think we should uh, begin okay. by giving we we already gave oh, a ahead. spoiler alert so let's go ahead and give a little synopsis yeah. of the film so uh yeah my little <laughs> short synopsis I wrote on my notes is the movie follows a boy who discovers that his classmate is dying from pancreatic disease specifically pancreatic cancer and after finding her di- after finding her diary and they become friends that's that's the very yeah. short synopsis doesn't give too much away but is yeah. that okay mm-hmm. is it that doesn't a, it doesn't okay? really it doesn't it's do good it it, it's fine it's fine I, w- I mean yeah, well it's like See the 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 the, the a lot of the aspects of the movie are like um, I don't know it's well if, I guess if we're delve into specifics it's like um, he the the relationship it it's like about the relationship between them and how like I don't know how they like influence each other even that doesn't do it justice but I'm it's like I don't know like so. I feel like both of the characters are somewhat an exaggeration of like an I like an outlook on life, you know? Like mm-hmm. um like Haruki is like representative of someone who's like calculated and decidedly chosen to like limit their their social life, you know, and their their emotions. And then Sakura is someone who's like just like I'm going to be who I am, fuck everything. This is just who I am, you know, like I'm going to die soon, uh, fucking no regrets. That's like Sakura, but you also see that she also feels she feels like like the same depressive type sad things. She just doesn't show it because she doesn't want to put that burden on other people. Um, mm-hmm. And it's like I don't know, seeing how they seeing how they both affect each other throughout the movie. It's like so beautifully done because even though there's when when Sakura like you know. Okay, spoiler alert, if you haven't fucking seen it, I've already said it twice, but just, if you haven't seen it, just fuck off and go watch it right now. But, when Sakura dies, the part that makes it sad, like, the part that makes, or I guess the, the, the thing that makes it the, 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 the saddest is that, like, fuck. Oh god, I forgot my, I forgot my train of thought. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> god damn it. Why does this always happen? Um, no, but, um, she... Oh, 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 yeah, 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 okay, so, she, you know, it's like, holy shit, she dies, and it's like, it's almost like her, her cancer doesn't even matter, like, this thing that was such, like, that she, that she purposely, like, limited people from knowing about, is like, becomes nothing, you know, and it's like, Mm. and she dies by something completely unrelated, and it's like, you know, that, that whole, that reworks into, like, the whole thing that she's talking about, about, like, like choices people make you know Mm. like and how you exist relationships you have with other people and you know every decision you've ever made is 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 what defines your life you know it's like so but and but it's like sakura being killed in that way or sakura's disease are like completely unrelated to her life which is like i think the point you know, yeah, that's, that's trying to get well. To, earlier mm-hmm. in the movie, she she does mention that yeah, you could die tomorrow from some sort yeah. of accident. And I think that kind of just brings it around. She didn't die of this thing that she was like sort of afraid of, uh, and was mm-hmm. afraid of telling people because it would affect them as well as her, because she wanted them to live their normal lives and stuff. 
Uh, and then she goes right. ahead and dies from something completely different, just out of the blue. And it looks like as it, it mm-hmm. looks as if she's getting better, but then she's like, then just out of the blue, she dies of something totally different from her pancreatic cancer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she know she knows that mm-hmm. by she knows that by telling her like the people closest to her that she is di- literally dying, that mm-hmm. they will treat her as if she's, you know. They'll, they'll treat, treat her, her like different. like they'll treat her differently, and and she won't be able to have those natural relationships that mm. she has with people. So when she tells Haruki, um, when she tells him, and he's just like, yeah, whatever, you know, you're gonna die, whatever. It like she sees like this potential to, you know, to relate, to connect, to have an outlet for mm. her, you know, feelings. And it's like, <clears throat> I don't know. Um, well, Kyoko's. I, I watched the English dub this time. Oh. Oh, go ahead. Well, Kyoko's reaction kind of confirms that she would have acted differently if she had known. Because once she finds out after yep. the fact that she's died, and they're in the cafe, and she's like, "Oh, I would have spent more time with her. I would have like skipped classes and stuff for yeah. with her." And she kind of just sh- confirms that she would have acted differently if if she right, had known. Right. right. So. Yeah. Actually, I didn't even think of, I didn't even think about that part until you just mentioned it, which is kind of. I mean, I guess I subconsciously knew it, but I didn't even think about it that way. But yeah, I guess I guess you're right about that. I did that, actually, yeah. when um, I was watching this, I was looking up a psychological term that I learned in my class. Like, because cause Sakura kind of keeps her feelings inside her, like her true feelings inside her. She kind of like depresses them. Not depresses. I, mm-hmm. I kept trying to find the one Bottles word. them up. Yeah. She bottles them up. Bottles, the, bottles up her emotions and tries Suppresses to keep her true her emotions. Suppresses her feelings. That is the word. It's suppression in psychology. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she tries to use suppression to like keep her emotions inside. And I, I was looking for that all night last night mm-hmm. when I was wa- watching this. <laughs> mm-hmm. so. Yeah, when she's in the in the hospital and she's are uh, it, it's like the reviewing of the diary, right? Like we're getting the flashback yeah. when she's in the hospital and she's like, she's like, I'm not lying. I'm just, you know, I'm, yeah. Cause you know she's just smiling, right? Mm-hmm. That scene, by the way, that fucking scene, that final scene, like, is is fucking heartbreak. It's like heartbreaking, but like optimistic. It's like such a fucking beautiful scene. Mm. Like, it's going through all this shit where it's like, you kind of see the side of her. It's almost like you interact with her like a, one more time, you know, after she dies in a way. But mm-hmm. it's like they're so they're so yet so different that it's like she can literally predict the things that he's thinking to some extent you know right it's like and it's so beautiful and like like i really really like how they rework the the term like the title of the movie i want to eat your pancreas back into the the narrative you know i really think it it, it, it's really powerful but um for me well i know matt you said that you didn't really cry or that you that you kind of started to cry a little bit or something and mm. then, well, and did you, Austin, you said that? I, I, I started, I started, uh, I started to feel some in my chest. I'll say that much. Yeah. It, for me, it's like that scene at the fireworks scene. And I actually had this experience uh, with a different group of people. I watched this movie once with um, some of my other friends and we were watching it and I start fucking like bawling out in tears at mm. the fireworks scene. And they're like, why are you crying? They're like, what the fuck? Why are you crying? And I'm like, and I had already seen the movie. Right. Well, no, it's not just that. It's like this is the last time they ever see each other. That right. fireworks scene is the last time they ever see each other. And she tells him, she's like, "Oh, promise me we'll do whatever when I get out." Or she says, "She says I promise I'll tell you before I die." And it's like me hearing that, like right then in that moment, it's like breaking my fucking heart, knowing what happens through the movie. It just becomes yeah. even more sad. But what I really like is this movie isn't just like fuck you it's it's depression time it's like it's like no there's a positive takeaway you know it's like it's like you see the effects that that um sakura's death has on haruki he becomes a better person and he starts to think you know what would sakura do you know literally he's like what would sakura do how you know how can i look at this in a better light that type of thing you know and he like he becomes friends with kyoko he that guy and and that's another scene i wanted to pick up is um The guy, the guy that keeps offering him gum, right? He offers him gum once. It's Gum Boy, that's his name. Again, he's like, you're annoying me. And then he like offers him gum a third time, and he 
says no at first, and then he turns back around. This is before Sakura dies. He turns back around. And he's like, you know what? Maybe I will take that gum. You know, because yeah. it's like you see that just that little subtle detail is showing how hit how his how his view on relationships. You know, he said that he likes to keep his relationships inside of his mind internal. You can see. How that that shifted to him that you know maybe I will give this a chance maybe I will open up or maybe I you know mm-hmm. take a take something from somebody and that's that's really nice to see um, and it's really um, beautiful <laughs> yeah it is really beautiful yeah um, uh, <clears throat> if you guys didn't know um, this movie is actually an adaptation of a light novel um, mm. I think I think someone I think it was written online first someone like wrote it online. Uh, and it was a light novel, but in the light novel, there's like a lot more like, there's a lot of stuff that they like left out. Like, um, I remember reading it. Um, there's this one part where Sakura is walking with Haruki. They're like walking down this this mall or something like that, and she stops at this store and they have like a rope in this store, and she buys the she goes to the store and she buys this rope and she's like, she says it's something like, oh, wouldn't I be wouldn't it be funny if I I tied this into a noose or something, and she like puts it around her neck. It's like really fucking, really dark. Mm. But I don't know. I felt like it was kind of unnecessary, so I'm glad they. Kind of, I'm glad they took it out. Right. Seems, uh, uh, not of like the movie, what her character but... would do. She doesn't make. Right. Death no, well, that she was like joking about. It. She was like joking about it. But she doesn't make death that much. I don't know. Well, she. The that's... Movie. No. Yeah. No. No. It's not like. It's not like. Hey. Did... Hey, guess what? I'm dying. Hey, I mean, well, she is a little bit like that, and especially in the beginning. She's like, she, I, I really watching the dub, especially like, kind of, it kind of like made me a little bit like feel awkward because I, I, don't, I didn't remember her saying it as like as blatantly, you know. And it's, it just for me, one of those people who's like, oh yeah, fucking English dub. All right, garbage. Don't ever watch it. Like, I'm not like that. I think there are genuinely great dubs english dubs but mm. i think for this movie the japanese dub or the, the english sub is is superior in every way because i don't know i i this maybe this is petty but i didn't like sakura's voice actor <laughs> i didn't like her voice actor very much mm. uh, i thought haruki's was fine i thought his line delivery was like really yeah. like normal yeah. it felt natural and mm. sakura's was almost like trying to be overtly like hey this is an anime tropey you know instead yeah. of like just a positive outgoing person like and, and the japanese dub does that portrays that much better and they also changed some lines which is normal like when doing a dub because sometimes you have to change lines like that's just a part of the thing but right like I like in the beginning of the movie, it really irked me how how much it was just like, hey, when I die, or like, hey, I, I'm gonna die. Hey, did you know I'm gonna die? And it's like, I don't know. It's like I kind of it kind of made me be like, all right, it's you, a little repetitive. You know, you, you, it's a little repetitive. And it's like you can you know you could lay off a little bit on that aspect. Like I get it, you're gonna die, but it's like, come on, come on, really. Um, but yeah, one thing I noticed actually, Austin, something that you were talking about. Uh, mm. Before the before we started is like how the first twenty minutes or so are kind of slow or whatever. Yeah. I was like when I was watching through it, I was like, man, the first like the first like twenty to thirty minutes of this movie is a lot slower than I remember. You yeah. Know? But it was it was crazy. It was lagging. Yeah, it was it was really slow in the, at the beginning. I think. I mean, I still appreciate it. I still like it. It wasn't mm. unwatchable. Yeah. Um, it was really slow though. Um, but I think once it gets to the when it really picks up is when they go on the trip. You know, when they go on the train trip, I think that's when it really starts to pick up speed. Well, uh, that you're talking about the trip. Uh, I have a whole section in my notes about the trip. Uh, so yeah. this is the one moment on that trip, like when they're in the hotel room, is where you actually Sakura's, uh, see Sakura's true self. And she kind of, during the truth or dare, uh, how, uh, what is it? In this scene, uh, we learn that Sakura truly cares about how she looks more than how she actually like feels, because she she mm-hmm. cares more about her facade than uh, her personal feelings, like how she's presented to other people. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Uh, for example, I think when Takahiro or it it's actually Haruki. Uh, the names are wrong on Google, and I had looked up the names because I mm-hmm. didn't want to get them wrong. But I ended up getting them wrong because Google got them wrong. So. Right. Uh, this is Google's fault, not mine. Yeah, Taka, if Come I on, say Google. Takahiro, it's uh, Haruki. Um, uh, ask all these personal questions. And after a while, she says, this feels more like a job interview than a game. 
basically mm-hmm. her trying to change like okay i want this to be more like a game than you try and actually learn how i actually feel and think and everything yeah 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 she's definitely trying to she's trying to play it off like in a playful way you know you, you really see that you kind of see the you kind of see the little the cracks in her facade I guess so to speak and at the same time you also see Haruki start to crack in his like idea of you know whatever a little bit because mm-hmm. he is also this is the first time we see both kind of giving up a little bit reluctantly to each other you know I, I love it how at the uh, the part where uh What's the guy's uh, Har- name? Haruki, Haruki yeah. right? Haruki, Haruki, where he's reading the diary, and uh, Sakura is, you know, the it's like floating by and stuff, and you're hearing her voice lines. You know, she's gone, she's passed, obviously. But yeah, I I loved it because uh, uh, a little bit before that in the cafe scene, uh, where he was just waiting and waiting for her, that he that he wants to be her, and that she wants to be him. Yeah, he yeah, wants yeah. he wants to be he wants to be her because uh, she's so open and she's she's always nice. She can be friends with pretty much anybody, and he wants he wants to become that. And he, he later does right, and mm-hmm. then the uh, and then and she wants to be him because uh, since you know he uh, he uh, just what what he does in his free time is just takes other people's like point of views and reflects on himself and then just figure out figures out who he is through other people's like like mm. point of views right like that's that's what he judges it by to find him tr- his true self and she's like she's like i want to be able to find uh, you know with with me being with you i think i have found my true self and it's, it's just that that part i was sitting there I'm just like all right all right get it get it out of here this is too this is yeah it's it's so good like it's, it's so sad it's so it's so like um I don't know. It it really makes you. It really is able to reach in there in your heart and be like, be like, no, mm-hmm. you're gonna you're gonna care about this person, or you know, you're gonna, you know. Yeah. And it's like, um, I, man, like yeah, that final scene and where he goes to, um, I like I really like also how it starts off and it's like it's like oh I didn't go. It starts off telling you immediately. It's like she's dead. You know, it's like she died, and it's like. And I, and it's like I didn't go to her funeral or whatever. So you're thinking, okay, so she died of her pancreatic cancer, and she, you know, and what like whatever, right? And it's like, and it's actually foreshadowed. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but um, you probably did. But it, earlier in the movie, it's like there's a new port, like in like the first like couple minutes of the movie. There's a news report, and it's like. Oh, someone stabbed and and blah 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 to death in the neighborhood really? or something like that, right? Yeah, it says it. It literally My, says it on the. Oh, news oh, oh where thing. they were like, was that wasn't the uh, beginning like a, uh, the beginning was like foreshadowing, but it was like pretty much a recap, no, well, wasn't well, it's it? it's after before like you it's know after like she they dies. were in the future and he's like, let me tell you the story. No, 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 no. You're, you're no, no, no. You're you're mixing that. That starts off after she dies. It starts off after she dies. Yeah. He's like, this is the last text I sent her. I didn't go to her funeral, all that, right? But then it goes yeah. back. It goes back to showing before she died, before he even met her, right? Before he yeah. even met Sakura. And then he's about to leave the house. He's getting his shoes on to go to the library or whatever, or go to school. And his mom, like, is, like, sitting on the couch. She leans back. She's like, oh, hey, where are you going? Blah, blah, blah. While she says that, there's a news report that she's watched um, on TV. TV. Right. Okay, okay. That, I like, talking about someone... the way beginning. I was like, well, that's, well, that's just... To re- no, no, that's no, no. I. I didn't notice that. I'm sure that's there. I'll have to look back at that. I didn't notice. Yeah, that I had a friend who actually, who when he saw that part, when he saw that part, he said that. Now I, I feel like this is kind of bullshit. Okay, but he said that he, when he saw that part, he was like, oh, I know she's gonna be stabbed. She's gonna be stabbed to death. And it's right. like, I was like, what the all fuck? Right, How? Buddy. No. Yeah. All right, buddy. You've yeah, yeah. You sure? All right. Big yeah. Guy. No. We'll see, we'll sure. I'm calling I'm calling cap on that one. That's a fucking lie right there. That's, but that's cap. <laughs> yeah. But um I don't know. I I I I do it's it's kind of it's kind of eerie seeing that part. Like if you ever watch this movie again, you'll there's no question about it, you'll notice it. But um yeah. oh, man, uh fucking the Oh yeah, there's also uh I actually just learned this like a while ago, but the, there's actually a live action adaptation of this movie as well, which I haven't seen. 
that I really want to watch. There's a live action adaptation. There's a there's a, a manga adaptation. There's an anime adaptation, obviously that we've watched. But ah, man, I don't know. It's I think I've seen the th manga this movie version. is really something. You you have? I think I've seen it around. I I I think I visited like the comic book shop at one point and saw it on the shelves and looked at it. It didn't look like my mm. thing because it's got all the cherry blossoms and stuff on it. it looks a little bit girly, but this movie. Right. And this storyline is definitely not really girly. It's kind of just. I mean, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say girly is a. I wouldn't really. Yeah. I don't know. I I don't I don't use that as a detractor for me. Uh, I don't really. It doesn't matter to me. Like it's like it's it's it's. I like I like the the emotional, really emotionally powerful, you know, beautiful poetic stuff. Like like you know, in in lots of anime, it's like. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't really. For me, the 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 content of the anime, the content of any story, is much more important than like a genre or whatever the fuck it is. So it's like, I mean, that's everyone really. Like, what the fuck? That's everyone. But um, I I don't really care about. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know this. Sorry, I was gonna say I don't know. There's 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 a lot of people right, like action, right, right, right. Like everybody, everybody's got their own like preference because like you know there's people. Who are out there and they're just like, just like, yeah, I like, I want to play like battle royales, and then there's people who are just like, oh, I want to play Dark Souls three because it's like a rich story game, yeah. right? Or you know, play Dark Souls, or you know, let's we'll, we'll see what's another good game that released that a really nice story. Uh, Undertale, a way out. That was pretty oh, good. Yeah. Under Undertale, yeah, Undertale's got a good good story too. Mm -hmm. Like those those games, like. So everybody's everybody's got their preference, right? Yeah, everyone does have their preference. I'm not trying to disregard that. I'm just saying, mm. like, um. For me personally, right, it's like mm. all of that, all of the the actual, what what matters to me more than anything is like the 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 characters and the theming, basically. So like for me, it's like if it has action, cool, I'm down. If it has romance or whatever, it's like if it's entirely romance or whatever, I'm down. If it's a dystopian fucking sci-fi, whatever, I'm down. Like as I just whatever can be worked in within those parameters is what I really care about. So like, I don't know, like. Um, like so like take for example something like like berserk which i've already talked about a lot obviously but like berserk takes what makes berserk so great is that it's it, it has elements of power fantasy like it has moments where it's almost like fucking fist of the north star but it, it like directly takes inspiration from like shit like the rose of versailles or like other shoujo stuff that is like literally aimed at girls you know it's aimed towards mm. young girls it takes that emotional aspect and works it into like a mature story i mm. really love shit like that so i think like movies like this are are are, are completely like transformative you know like like i think mm -hmm. they 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 go far beyond the expectations of oh this is a romance or this is a tragedy whatever the fuck like it's just so thematically like competent that it, it just you yeah. know it just goes way it goes well well beyond you know any kind of like mm. whatever but maybe that didn't make sense maybe it was a, a rant but i don't know i just i don't know i guess what i'm trying to say is like i like different types of anime for the same reason essentially mm. Uh, gotcha. One thing yeah. I wanted to talk about real quick was it really caught me off guard. Was there's an anime like intro intro at the beginning that's like rock music yeah. and stuff? I was like, oh, oh, yeah. this is like a TV show maybe, but no, it's a movie <laughs> with an anime like intro with rock music, and it just caught me off guard. It's hmm. just yeah, a lot of a lot of anime movies yeah. have that now. <laughs> I was sitting there, I was sitting there, and fucking the anime music started playing. I'm sitting there, I'm like, all right, I'm on the first episode, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm it on the first feels like hour that. and 48 minute episode. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Ready to watch yeah. four seasons right now. <laughs> yeah, no. Another one of my, another one of my uh, favorite, that actually reminds me, mm. another one of my favorite, like, uh, uh, anime movies is, um, uh, well, ever, well, probably most people have seen it, but it's like, it's called Your Name. Um, it's really popular, but it's really um, that it, it's kind of like this movie in some ways, but not really. It has more like of a of a fantasy type element to it. But um, it also has an anime opening. Uh, mm. I don't know. It's just it's just a common thing. Like I don't know. Mm. I don't really. I could. Some people have like a really big problem with it for some reason, but I don't. I don't really care. I'm just like I kind of like it honestly. I kind of I kind of like seeing it. I gotta say, for my my first first like ever like. And in anime movie that was actually able to like sit down 
the first 20 minutes was really hard, but I actually sat down, focused on it. Had I had to have a bowl of popcorn to get me through it, right? The, mm. That first 20 minutes at least. And then, you know, just this, this is my first, like, anime movie. And I, I got to say, honestly, uh, you know, first coming into it, I was a little hesitant because, you know, I I mean, I watch anime, right? And, you know, yeah. but most of the anime that I watch is, you know, action-packed, right? And, you know, but, yeah, there is some drama in some, some of the anime that I watch. But, like, it, it was... I was I was expecting it at the beginning to go a little bit faster, but you know, soon soon as soon as the uh, the plot started started rolling out, so there I'm just like, okay, this is actually like really good. Like this isn't bad. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I'm glad you're able to have such a positive experience with a, with a with your first anime movie. <laughs> it was it was it was I was I was so hesitant coming into it. I'm sitting there, I'm just like, oh my gosh, what if it's like, what if, uh, I'm like, what's what studio made it? What if it's what if it's what if there's kind of like a CGI scene or something like that? Yeah. Or I was sitting there. I was just I was like I was like what if the what if the voice acting is bad, which I personally you know like you said uh, Sar- Saruka or Sakura 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 Sakura, yeah her she was like a, a little bit out there, which I get because you know they're trying to they're like hey this character's out there, right? But mm-hmm. you know I don't. I don't need to get reminded of it every time. I, I get it. Like, you know, that's yeah. just her personality. And, you know, I I understand that they're like, like... They're like, hey, she's really out there. Like, she she loves everybody. She she's makes friends with everybody. So, you know, they, they really, they really, they really, they really nailed that, right? Yeah. But, I don't know. I didn't, I think they might have just tiny bit overdid it. But it was, it was, it was really good. I mean, you yeah. know. For, you could, you, for, yeah, I know what you mean. Like, because mm. for me, it was, um... For me, it was this. I think this was my first time watching the dub, and like, it, it made me feel uncomfortable almost at first. I got used to it, but it was like, I think an advantage of the, of the of listening to the Japanese dub is that you don't have to hear like line delivery that might not fit with the Just dialogue. You know work, what I mean? Right. Because mm-hmm. right. like, because anime and j- Japanese media like that is written differently you know what i mean it's like it's a different Mm. style it's a different it's a whole different set of like Mm. i don't know of like writing techniques so like while something there's there are things i think this is also a barrier for people to get into anime but it's like there are things that are it's an art of exaggeration you know so you have characters who blatantly say things that are like super out there right and it comes off better in text that's a lot of the time than it does when actually spoken. Uh, I don't think that means it's any less powerful or impactful. I just think that a lot of people, it, it fills them with this sense of like, oh, that's cringe. When really it's like, I don't see it that way. I don't know. I think that, I think that they're, they're obviously they're a very realistic anime, but <clears throat> I think that most, most of the, the anime that are like, supremely good in my opinion like use exaggeration as a subtle tool you know what i mean like well people will be like oh well it's exaggeration like how can it be subtle it's like no 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 you you're missing the point entirely it's like you 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 use exaggeration to to portray like these extreme ideas or like these radical things and kind of use them in that way you know to rework them into the story i yeah. don't know that's just my take on it it's it's i don't know it's I think this movie does it well. It's just, I guess this particular dub I didn't like very much. Like, like there are dubs like Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood dub, amazing. Uh, Cowboy Bebop dub, fucking amazing, beautiful. Mm. I would say the Cowboy Bebop dub is better than the, the, uh, the sub or the the Japanese dub, whatever. Yeah. But, mm. you know, I don't know. That for me, that's a. I don't know. I think it's kind of a. Like I don't, I don't really mind that much. I guess is what I'm saying. I love this movie. I know what it's about. I've seen it dozen, literally a dozen times, over a dozen times, mm. and I don't know. It still comes across the same to me. Mm. Yeah, still got that same energy. That's really good. You can't really find that in a lot of movies. Like you know, some people just watch a movie, and you know, after they watch it the first time, then then they watch it a second time. Like okay, I can't watch it anymore. Like the magic is gone. Right. But this, mm, yeah. it's, it's good that this is like a movie that like you watch and you're like, okay, I can come back to this because it's actually really good, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. I and yeah, I I don't know. I I, I use this movie or movies like this or I guess media in general. I personally use it as like an emotional outlet. You know, like mm-hmm. it, it. I feel like sometimes they're better to they're at better at presenting certain ideas that I have than I am 
communicating them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like when I hear like like you know Sakura and Haruki talk about their relationship and the way that they feel and you know these certain story beats, it just hits mm-hmm. somewhere like inside of me, deep inside that makes me like react emotionally. So like I don't know. The first time I saw this movie, like the very first time I saw this movie, I was just fucking destroyed, dude. I was fucking I was crying, crying like holy shit like I fucking like it was like like tears tears like I was fucking having a moment when I watched this mm. the first time you know and like and I still get that every time I watch it not to the same extent as the first time because the first time I didn't see it so when mm. she died that way I was like what no 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 right. you know like that type Real of thing quick. and then uh yeah can we go around also and say what was the saddest part because I think this is very subjective because I, I cried at one part that I don't think you guys mm-hmm. cried at as much now, I, mm-hmm. Austin, did you end up crying? Because I know Ty cried, and uh, I cried a little bit. I, 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 I almost, almost cried. I got, I, I got, I like, I felt in my heart. I was sitting there, and just like, I'm like, all right, no, no tears. It's fine. Just, wa- just we're watching the movie, right? Obviously, obviously, yeah. I, I was, I, I'll, I'll say, I was pretty much right there. Like, you know, the tear right was about the to come out. Right. Like, yeah. I, I might as well have been crying. Right. Okay. Yeah. I you were go... internally crying. Right. Well, the area I time. cried at was the end when he sits, when he's sitting at the table and like visits the mom because he's too afraid to go to the actual funeral. Oh. He gets the book. That's yeah. that's the part I was the saddest all at. And also him yeah. just asking permission to cry. It's just it was like man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, when Matt, he says that. Shut your yeah, mouth. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bad. Shut your fucking was mouth. Was that where you did it? Was that where you kind of yeah. felt sad? Yeah, also? that's 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 where that's uh, I'm starting to, I'm starting to tear up a little bit. Man. Oh yeah, it's really <laughs> it hit me so it's hard it. right then, and it was just like yeah, yeah. No. When when he he st- when he started crying, I'm like I'm like bro. <laughs> Yeah, he. Oh God. Yeah, that part was really big for me. I there there are a couple parts that I cry on because I'm rewatching it and I have a little bit of foresight, you know. Right. You know. So what's like coming. I know, right? Like I know. Oh, this is the last time they see each other, or oh, when she says this, right. it's not gonna come true, or like mm. so. Like for example, the part where the part at uh, Sakura's house when they're fight, they they you know they're they kind of have this sexual tension moment, and then you know Haruki leaves, and then her ex boyfriend. Mm. Um, I have a theory actually about her ex-boyfriend. This is a little bit harebrained, but I'll get into it. But anyway, they they get in that altercation, whatever, and then mm-hmm. she starts talking to him about how their life is all about their relationships and their, you know, their con- that part made me cry, the uh, mm-hmm. on rewatch. And and it, uh, th- this is the only time I've rewatched it, and that part made me cry. But I think it's because I saw a different I saw a different aspect of this movie this time when I watched it because before I was focusing on the character romance type aspect of it which i usually saw but rewatching it this time i saw something completely d- different which was the the way that like sakura's outlook on life about relationships to- defining who you are and your choices and you know how fate doesn't really exist but everything isn't necessarily a coincidence that is yeah. what really that's what really got to me this time unlike the other times but so at that part i really teared up but i also think now this is just a theory right but i think sakura's ex-boyfriend the one that assaulted Haruki, I think he is like, she, you know, she mentions stuff like in the beginning of the movie, she mentions that he was pushy, you know, that he was persistent. And then later on in the movie, we see him assault Haruki, right? We see him like lash out in violence. And Mm -hmm. then we see him like react angrily to Sakura. And we see, um, we see him react violently when Haruki says that Sakura doesn't like pushy guys. I think there, I think it's entirely possible that, that, Sakura's ex-boyfriend could have like ass- like assaulted her, or sexually assaulted her, or something like that. Because it seems like that she has like a like that that she that I don't know. It seems like there's there's an aspect of him being that way. You know what I mean? It, it's just a little thing. It's a little bit out there, but I think that like there's a there's a little bit of of a of a nudge towards it. You know what I mean? Like they don't really talk about it, but mm. I feel like it might be a little bit like one of those things where it's like Sakura's not gonna talk about it. I don't know. Maybe it's just I, I feel like I feel like it's entirely possible, but not necessarily that it happened. I just think that I got those kind of I, I guess I'm saying got I got vibes. those kind of vibes. Yeah, yeah, I got those vibes from that whole situation. But mm. I don't yeah, know, it I think was I caught, on, yeah. caught up on that. 
I I I, I also kind of cut the vibes from that situation. You're not alone, Ty. Uh, okay, okay. It's 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 mostly because of the scene that happened right before it, right? Where mm-hmm. where uh, what what's the guy's name? Haruka? Ha- Haruki, Haruki. Haruki, Haruki. Yeah, on top of Sakura, right? And mm-hmm. then and then he he's like, she, you know, she's like. I think she was like, don't do this or whatever, or there was mm-hmm. so- something like that. And then Har- Haruki runs out and boyfriend's like, you know, being stalkerish, right? Just being like right yeah. there for whatever reason, right? And, you know, I- I'm, you know, it's, you know, it might not be, but you, you know, when they're, when they're making the movie, they're, they, they'll put like stuff like together, right? It's for you to infer, like, hey, maybe this is something that might have happened, right? Right. It's open to interpretation, yeah. Right. Mm. I think that um, that whole scene, that whole scene inside the house was, like, so amazingly awkward. Like, they did such a good job of making you feel uncomfortable in that scene. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's just, like, so, like, like, they're playing video games, and then it's, like, you can kind of tell Sakura's kind of, like, oh, she's, like, oh, I want to do something naughty or whatever. And then he's, like... The way I saw it was, like, she might have just been saying that to try to hurt his feelings, or not necessarily hurt his feelings, but kind of fuck with him, you know, to be like, mm. you know, oh, haha, yeah, you know, and then he kind of sees it as, like, are you kidding me? Like, I actually do care about you, you know, yeah. but then he reacts violently, and like, he, re- you know, he holds her down, and you're like, whoa, 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 no, 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 stop, stop, just stop, stop now, stop, right? Yeah. And then mm. it's like, but then, you know, he runs out, and it's like, I don't know. They handled that scene very well, I think. They handled it very well. It's because it's like the sexual tension, the kind of emotional tension tied up together with that makes you feel like, I don't know, it feels all too human. You know, I think I think everyone can relate to kind of having these these kind of complex, like dark, uh, like feelings where you're just like, I don't really, you know, like, like I don't I'm not really acting like how I feel like how i'm thinking or you know it applies to a lot of different situations but i don't know it really that scene really kind of kind of hit hit me a little bit hard in like the not in like the sappy way but in the like oh god this is so fucked up but it's like it's kind of it's kind of like a a, it's kind of like real as shit you know unfortunately yeah unfortunately yeah have you guys read Um, the little prince the book that they discuss no, no, I haven't. I, I, I look. I researched it a lot last night. I didn't have. I, if I had time, I would have read the whole thing. Read it. Uh, mm-hmm. It's like four hundred mm-hmm. pages though, and I can't read that at one a.m. in the morning. No. <laughs> so, no. Uh, I have a little bit of a synopsis. After uh, there are major similarities mm-hmm. between the two. So, <clears throat> in the Little Prince, there's two characters, two main mm-hmm. characters. It's the pilot and the Little Prince. The little prince is mm-hmm. a boy that can't that says that he's come from space. Uh, he's he was dropped on Earth from a meteor. Uh, so let me just try to read my notes. Uh, the pilot is an outgoing and more extroverted person than the prince. The young boy is the little prince, and he's all by himself in the Sahara Desert. And they kind of mm-hmm. learn lessons from each other because they're so different. And at at the end mm-hmm. the the boy ends up like being like okay i i need to leave i need to get out of here and that's kind of he kind of just like kills himself he allows himself to get Whoa. bit by a snake wow it's it's it, there's some major similarities i think you yeah there are major major similarities you need to, yeah you really need to check this book out cuz it looks pretty good i think i might read it sometime uh but it looks hmm. like a really good book that's just like a really brief synopsis so well i can definitely see though how like what you mean how it's like you know they have two characters and they affect each other and they're you completely know, they're opposite the, right and you could have like this this you could even say that the maybe the sahara desert is a metaphor almost for like the loneliness you know what i mean like 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 Haruki's loneliness and Sakura's loneliness as well, because loneliness is also a thing. Actually, I wanted to talk about loneliness is another thing this movie touches on really well because it's like Sakura is lonely in the way that she doesn't want to, she doesn't want to spoil all the good things she has, right, by being the impetus for this negative thing, and and so it forces her into a position where she can't really open up.
do that. Hello? Did I just get... Did I just get booted out? Turn off camera. Well, my takeaway was, is like, oh yeah, Sakura... My takeaway was that Sakura had an impact on Haruki, and that was really it. But then I realized that this... Not this watch-through. I realized this a couple watch-throughs ago. But, um, but, but... Haruki had just as much of an effect on on Sakura as you know, vice versa. So yeah. it's that is that was re I don't know that was really beautifully done. Yeah, for sure. You kind of broke up. Uh, I I kind of like <laughs> didn't hear everything you uh, said there. So shit. Yeah. Uh, well, I said I said something. Um, uh, I said something about how the how in the Little Prince, I guess the the desert could be a metaphor for like loneliness. Um, and then, like, that loneliness is something that this movie talks about, um, like, a lot. Uh, it's a major theme because you have Sakura's being alone and her uh, inability to open up to other people about her disease. And then Haruki is alone, is alone in his, like, decision to limit his social and, uh, like, his social... Um, life. Life, yeah, basically, yeah. Uh, so, and, and they both, like, they both come out of their shell. It's just that Sakura's life has ended too soon. Um, I wish, I don't, oh, I don't know if I, I really don't know if I want closure on the killer or not. Like, I feel like I don't, I feel like it's unnecessary to the movie. You know, thematically right. speaking, it's unnecessary, but I also hate that fucker. So I right. don't know. <laughs> I have a theory, but I don't think it's, there's enough proof of it. I think it was, uh, do you want me to say who I think it was? Go ahead. I Go think ahead. it was Sakura's <gasps> old boyfriend. Oh. Oh, because they lived really Ooh. close to each other. I think he wanted, like, he knew that they, they were having a relationship together, or some sort of relationship. Holy he got shit! And ended up killing him. Holy killing shit! Him. That's who I think. It Holy was. fuck! Oh did my god, Matt! I did not even think about that once, dude. Because he was not he even got once. That, you got that abusive vibes, and usually in a yeah, he's, holy he's, shit! Like, leaves. Pushy. But she, he's, uh, stalking. Yeah, he was stalking! Oh my, how the fuck did I not think of, how we, the fuck did I not think of this? If we rewatch the movie, what? we might see him in the background a couple times just standing there. Um, and right. Just, like, I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. Holy shit. Dude. That was oh my, my How did I not... <laughs> I feel so fucking dumb for not thinking about this. Because I'm focusing on, like, I don't know. I, it's like the the killer is just the impetus for, like, the 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 change. You know, he's the, he's, the, he's the motivation for the final act of the movie. So it kind of, the movie resolves itself without him. So, like, when they have that, that scene, that final scene, I'm just not thinking about that. I'm thinking about, like, how they're impacting each other. I'm not really thinking about who killed her, but holy sh But that makes so much fucking sense. That's that makes so much sense. It's still a guess. I, I can't say concretely that it's the old mm. boyfriend. Maybe, I have, maybe I have look it up. about it. It just cause Maybe usually, look it up and see if there's any more evidence for it, because I'm kind of curious. Well, usually in abusive relationships, when the boyfriend gets jealous, they're not afraid of going that far to try to get someone back. And if they mm -hmm. don't end up getting that person back, they're like, okay, uh, if you can't, if I can't have her, no one can. That's no one the, will. Right. That's the thought. So that's that's that my exact theory. thing. Yeah, that, that exact thing has happened it. a lot. It's like the uh, it's like the Griffith thing where he fucking decided to kill guts but then failed because his resolve or whatever yeah that's that's just right where my mind went but also if if it had been in the story beginning with or in the story earlier it could have been that same killer from before but that's mm. just kind of more a serial killer but that's not as oh yeah yeah but that mm. that's not touched upon that's a really well hold on though guess I feel like it's. I feel like it has to be intentional, though, right? Like, why would they show the first killer if it has no relation to the second? You know what I mean? Like, unless it's a like a red herring, where it's like, where they want you to be like, oh, well, you know, it could be the boyfriend, or it could be a serial killer, which I guess is like a thing. I guess that's definitely a thing. But I don't know. I feel like if it. I feel like if it is the boyfriend, I have a feeling that if it is the boyfriend, it's probably he probably killed the first person. I just want. I think I want to believe that for like plot reasons but it's also completely possible mm. that they were two separate murders yeah. and actually you know what I, you know what i think it's actually more likely that it was just a red herring where it was like there was one murder and then there's a sec a second murder yeah mm -hmm. well yeah. they were both stabbed to death 
They were both stabbed to death. I don't know. It could be a coincidence. It could not be. I guess that's the point. Yeah, we're not private investigators or just detectives in general. Yeah, well, most most like most like homicide like cases are committed by somebody that the person knows. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's that. That's true. Actually, yeah, yeah. So. And it was in the same town. It was in the same town. So yeah, it's yeah. Her neighborhood you know, too. Granite, granite. You know. Wait, was that it, where? It also also could have just been like a. Did she crime. die uh, right next to where the the was it Hikaru? Uh, and the boyfriend kind of fought. Was that where she died? I remember there being stairs. Uh, no, no, I don't think so. Uh, maybe look. look uh, okay, I'm gonna look up. I'm just gonna look up who killed Sakura. Let's see what comes up. Let's see what theories people have because, out there. Yeah. Well, we're going on the fucking Qora, so you know there's gonna be some crazy shit ha like being said here. I don't want Naruto. Okay. Uh, no, who killed what? Who killed Sakura and Naruto? What the yeah. fuck? Okay, um... Who did it? Okay, who so... fucking did it? Alright, let's see, let's see. Uh, and, and I want to eat your pan pancreas. Sakura Yamauchi is found dead with a knife in her chest. Who killed her? When I saw that part of the movie, I was confused and surprised. I didn't understand what had happened. She didn't die because of the disease, blah, blah, blah. Could mean that she didn't want anyone to know, blah, 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 blah. Come on, come on. Just give me that. Give me that. Someone oh, said she committed um, suicide. That's not possible. No, she no, times. she did not. <laughs> she well, even if she was, why the fuck would she commit suicide? She was she, not she suicide. Jokes she about obviously it, but didn't want to die. She she didn't want to. She wanted to live her life and try to travel a little more and stuff. It, does, it yeah. A lot right. Of these answers are like, oh, it's suicide. No, it's not. Bro, she what was, is bro? What if she killed herself, bro? Oh, what if she killed herself? Whoa, wouldn't that be crazy? It's like, no, I mean, she definitely had depress depressive thoughts, and it's definitely implied that she even might have had suicidal thoughts, but... Here's one. It's, I, I... There's, there, here's what, one. What, My what perception is, is that the killer is the guy, the, like, the gangster that she met in the, in the market. Who was gangster asking she, money. Oh. He straight up, she straight up kicked him in the, in like... Nuts. Yeah. Mm. That, I, I could that doesn't, I, but that doesn't nuts, seem, because if we think in the terms of killers... Usually they know the person. They didn't really know yeah. each other. Yeah, yeah. What's yeah. it called? Uh, half of all like fe female homicide victims are like killed by intimate par partners, or you yeah. know, non-intimate part. You know, partners that were together and they were intimate, and now they're not. Right. Yeah. You know, you got that the jealous boyfriend. Yeah, we got a serial killer uh, answer. We got. Mm -hmm. oh couple of the serial killer ideas i mean i mean that's that's the thing it just leaves it up to uh yeah. to the imagination yeah never really yeah we'll never know for sure it's kind of pointless looking right. it up because we'll yeah, never we, really we all we all have writer. our own theories it's a writer of it. we'll ask um, him just look up <laughs> yeah go him. ask the yeah go ask the writer I'll call him. <laughs> just ask him real quick see like no, that's did like it? that's like the oh shit i almost said something that was a huge spoiler for the sopranos on accident and uh that would have been terrible but, uh, yeah, no, uh, it, it, something happens in The Sopranos where it's like everyone is asking the the creator what happened to a certain character, and he's just like, fuck you, I'm not telling you. <laughs> uh, that, like, yeah. But it's kind of like that, I guess. Um, <clears throat> man, what what other... what other? Are you still looking up the movie? serial killer ideas or anything? Like, the, how she died? Who, me? Yeah, are you still me? looking that up? No. Um, no. I, I have I I'll go with I'll go with it was probably the boyfriend. The 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 point case in point the boyfriend is an evil fuck and he was a bad person the whole time. Just the whole just, time. He he was called pushy. Uh, a one word set him off. So obviously he can't control his temper. Right, it's a and terrible then, temper. And then and then he's waiting outside uh, of uh. uh Sakura's like house. Right? And he starts to just walk in, doesn't he? He's like he's like he just walks up to it and like starts trying yeah, to go he in. Just walks up to him and like trying to like, hey, what are you doing, right? And all right. that stuff. Right. Very confrontational. Yeah, uh, just wanting uh, to start something. Yeah, all the signs are there for sure. He he wants um, to start something and he's okay with doing it. Like in, in his head he doesn't see anything wrong with what he's doing. Right. Yeah. That's fucking kind of scary, but um, oh yeah, the 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 post credit scene. We should talk about that. 
let's wait on that. I have some uh, ideas of that. But oh, also, okay. another thing in The Little Prince, uh, I have it in my notes, is that uh, he finds uh, the pilot after the Little Prince kills himself with the, by the snake. He finds the whole lesson is that, that the pilot learns is that if you love something, sometimes just knowing it exists is enough to make you happy. But in that story, the way of him getting home is by dying. The little prince, the, oh. he dies because he thinks that's the only way he can truly come home. So, and that's kind of similar to, uh, let's go into the post credit scene now. The, in the post credit scene, the cherry blossoms, as they're falling, it's, it seems like she might still be oh. there with them. Which is another Yeah, yeah, it hints at reference. it. So... Yeah, it hints at it a little way. It, it's almost like um, it's almost suggesting that Sakura is, Sakura exists still like as, as an idea or as something ethereal. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's just a little bit vague. It like hints it towards you because you see the Sakura petal, fly mm. by um, his head, and it's like, well, maybe it makes you think. Well, you know, maybe she's out there, or maybe, maybe there's another deeper aspects to this. You know, maybe, maybe it's just some kind of divine coincidence. But you know, it's like. Yeah. It's and, so, um, yeah. It sort of gave me a feeling. Uh, I know it's stupid to compare it to, but uh, the character of Darth Vader in the new mm. trilogy, how he's still somewhat there, even when he's dead and he's gone. He's still in the new trilogy. He's still influencing, <clears throat> influencing these characters. His memories live on yeah. through others. Yeah, because the whole character of Kylo Ren is basically just Darth right. Vader. So... Like Sakura's memories live on through a uh, Haruki, yeah. The guy's Haruki. name I'm not gonna say because I butcher it. Haruki, well, yeah. I, I know. Well, I know what. Yeah, yeah. It's like there, there's the idea of like living on as an idea. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of it's it, that's kind of mm. something I was actually thinking about um, yesterday when I finished the movie because it's like, I mean, what is it like? They, like they say that you uh, a man dies twice or whatever. You know, when, once when they when they leave their body and once when their name is spoken last or whatever of like um in what way you know is is consciousness i don't know it's like the is like is consciousness ethereal i don't know it's 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 such a complex thing i have trouble explaining it but it's like let's say you're an author right takes for instance i don't know J.R.R. tolkien right who had like a huge influence on fantasy like fantasy as what we know right it's so like the ideas and things that he created are still used today in fantasy throughout, like like widespread. So it's like, do, does he, in a way, like, because because his original idea was taking something in his head and putting it on paper, right? So like, has he, in a way, become like part of the sea of consciousness? You know what I mean? Like part of the sea of consciousness that everyone is. You know what I mean? Like it's it's kind of weird to think about. It's like like what if like like all the ideas and values you have and the thing the things that you say that you put out into the world are you know ever so slightly like dis dispersed throughout people. You know what I mean? Like if I tell you something that you find favorable and you decide to take it into your consciousness and then you know tell that to other people, it's like in a way you're kind of like. You're you're kind of pushing something into you're kind of creating something into existence that that exists beyond you you know like existing as an idea like like or like you know what I, you know what I mean like it's it's really I, I feel fucking insane trying to explain it but it's like it's like existing but not physically you know like existing as like an idea I don't know yeah that was a little bit long winded but. I, it's like I have I know what I'm trying to say, but it's just so fucking hard for me to try to, to to express it. Yeah. But yeah, like you said, Sakura living on in Haruki, you know, you know, or, or Sakura living on maybe in some way through like some ethereal means or some you know whatever, whether it be a coincidence or whatever. It's you know that that whole thing. Um. He. Uh, Haruki also does become, you know, he becomes friends with um, Kyoko, or Kyoko. Um, I really didn't like how she was so like, 
I don't know. She didn't really seem like a friend. You know what I mean? Right. An she kind of seemed like friend. Right. She was well. Towards the end, she seems more like a friend. But at the beginning, she's right. kind of just like, "Yeah, I'm the, I'm the tsundere. I'm the, Ugh. you know what I mean? I want to control yeah. your but, life because I'm your friend. Right. So, what are you thinking? And it's it's just like, all right, let's well, let's let's calm down. You know. But I don't know. Um, the the fucking animation was beautiful as well. The animation was superb, mm-hmm. like amazing. Um, and the music, oh my fucking god! I listen to this soundtrack all the fucking time. Like I listen to it all the time. Uh, just listening to the listening to the fucking the salt like the the the, the songs with lyrics. Um, like I listen to those all the time. But when I listen to them, I like start crying. Like, because I'm just thinking about what's happening. I'm thinking about that scene, and it just, like, it literally makes me cry. It's so fucking sad, but, yeah. Funny you should say that. That's, like, the last thing I had on my list was I absolutely love the music. I like the rock and roll aspect, but also the lyrics uh, are pertain to, like, the actual story. So, like, they're singing about the story between the two, uh, between um, Haruki and Sakura. It, yeah. They're basically mm-hmm. singing about their relationship. Yeah, definitely. They definitely are. It's, um, I don't know. I really don't know. This is just a good movie. This is a, this is a gem. This is a gem. It's, uh, I feel, I feel like, um, a lot of people are actually turned away from this movie just because of the title, which is really fucking dumb in my opinion, because it's like, the title doesn't really matter at all. I mean, to some extent it does, but not really. It doesn't really matter, like, for in terms of what's in the actual story. And right. what's in the actual story is amazing. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I don't know, I can't tell you how many times I've told people, like, hey, watch this movie, like, it's really good. And they're like, I want to eat your pancreas. Okay, yeah, right. Like, I'm not going to watch that, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's it like, sounds like, some, like that movie we discussed, Raw. It sounds like, it sounds like something that would be related to. Yeah, when I when yeah, I, like like when I first heard it, I was sitting there, I was just like, hmm, I don't know about this. And then then once I'm watching, I'm sitting there, I'm just like, actually, there's there's people out there that are just like they judge a book by its cover immediately. For this movie, you definitely will have to watch it because you know, uh, you know, obviously the title is you know, they they chose it because they use it in the in the movie, and you know, the people who are watching right now they won't know what it is until they watch it, right? Right. Because yeah, it was said absolutely. in the movie, and it's actually really sweet. Mm-hmm. Very, very, very sweet. Very, su- very sweet moment. Um, mm. Well, I, have you, you, Matt? I know you've seen some other anime movies, but um, would you guys be interested in seeing some like not? not I'm not talking like because it's Mio's turn next, but would, for, for my future, at least my future re- anime recommendations. Would you guys like to see more like heartbreaking stuff like this, or more like cool sci-fi action shit? I don't know. I'm fine with uh, either. I like both. I, I, I feel like I, I, because I've I've seen that now, right? But I'd, I'd feel like I'd want to see like some sci-fi action shit, maybe. I think every just, other just like so just back and forth. just so I can get a feel for what the other side's like, because I've only seen this one, and this one was, I mean, I'm oh, sure, so... yeah. He didn't do Metropolis. You, so you haven't us. seen anything like, oh, so you haven't seen like Metropolis, Akira, like none of that shit, like Ghost mm, in the Shell. You haven't seen no, like, oh I god, seen. Oh, we should do Akira. Oh, oh, we should do Akira. We should do Akira or Ghost in the Shell. Those are like, those are like, those are like two of the like the like the must watch like ones, like for think, like anime like. I think I'm gonna change my pick for next week. I, I originally said it was gonna be oh, Shrek okay. the Musical, so I'm gonna change it. <laughs> I can't remember yeah. what the fuck I said for my pick. Well, I don't, sometimes I don't remember it, you having a pick. You picked Shazam, like, for our special episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there was a m- movie recommendation that we had on our, like, Shazam episode at the end. Oh, yeah. You did yeah, have I'm a recommendation. Look. I think you sent me a message about it, too. Uh, I'm going to look at Shazam. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, and I got it for me. Uh, but l- let me go ahead and finish. I have, I think I had a couple more things on this list where, uh, okay. So the cherry bo- blossom symbolism or the celebration of life, which one do you want me to, dis- to discuss first? Mm. 
Um, which are, which somewhat are, related. Are you feeling? Uh, yeah, I'm going to do the cherry blossom symbolism. So, okay. now I think that this is a bit subjective because we all come from different backstories, but I think the cherry blossom symbolized uh, how beauty in life, uh, it, I believe they're a symbol of beauty in life, the, the beauty of life and how it comes and goes, but even when it's left, it hasn't truly left. It will come back. That's kind mm -hmm. of what I saw it as, because cherry blossoms bloom in the spring for like about two or three weeks and then they're just gone and then they come back right again next spring and they're just they always come back so. right it's like it's beautiful it's beautiful but it's like short-lived you know what i mean yeah. like it's 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 the most beautiful flower it's the most beautiful tree but it blooms for the shortest time you know it's like that's like the irony of it, I guess, you know. And 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 then, and her name is literally Sakura. Sakura's name is literally Sakura, which is cherry, which is a cherry blossom in Japanese. Like it, it could not be more one to one. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, is it yeah, Haruki's that I like definitely. Haruki's like no, his is no, no, no. His is 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 like like spring or something like that. I forget. I think I think hers is like Sakura as. A, yeah, I forget. Like his is like hers is literally Sakura, like the Sakura tree, and then his is um, like I think it's spring. I'm pretty sure, or at least maybe I'm thinking of it in the the Japanese dub, but I'm pretty sure his name is like spring, spring or something like that. So okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like spring is the season in which Sakura blooms. You know what I mean? So it's like despite how how different they might seem at first, it's like they literally. Fit perfectly, like they fit perfectly together. You know what I mean? Like he was the foundation, right, right, right. He was the foundation for her, you know, her self-realization, and she was the the foundation of his self-realization. So it's like it's it's just such a like I said, it's just another detail that adds up thematically. His and that's why his name is so important. You know, that's why it withholds his name because it's like that big moment, that big moment towards the end. The really positive takeaway that it adds at the end is why. You know, that's that's why it's there. Okay. Yeah, and then the a celebration of life. Uh, that's the... Uh, I think the movie is more about celebrating life and finding happiness even in its darkest types because uh, even though Sakura knows that she's dying and everything, she still tries to live her life like a happy life and tries to make the other people <laughs> around her happy. Uh, and try, just trying to spread, like, happiness and joy even though she knows that mm -hmm. she's gonna die. So. Right. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like, um, it's like, like, all we really have is now. You know what I mean? It's like, all you really have is now. So it's like, I kind of get inside, this is also something I wanted to touch on. I'm glad you mentioned it, Matt, because it's like, I think there's a little bit of Sakura and Haruki within all of us. You know what I mean? Like, there's a little bit of that, that, or it's, it's, sometimes it's more than the other, but there, there's, there's that outgoing, you know, positive side, and then there's the kind of, you know, negative, um, impartial type side of, of us all. But, you know, if I, you, you kind of, with Sakura's viewpoint, it's kind of like, um, like you said, like the beauty of life. You know, it's temporary, it's short, um, but, you know, that, that doesn't mean it's not worth living. You know what I mean? It's like, the, 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 like, like life is constant it's constantly happening you know what i mean so all these moments all these little moments all these things you know that we that we think of i don't know like all the stuff that happens to us is life so it's like it's i don't know it's like about living for now and appreciating now you know what i mean yeah exactly again yeah. i want to shoot down that suicide theory that's just because we just discussed that uh finding the beauty yeah. in life and stuff that kind of also shoots down that theory like mm -hmm. she yeah. definitely didn't do that uh, so oh yeah, no. Thematically, thematically speaking, the suicide makes no fucking sense at all. Just out of like, the you know what I mean? Yeah, it's completely out of the blue. Like, thematically speaking, the, this movie is not trying to be like, it's not trying to be like nihilistic at all. Wise. I feel like if, right, right, right. Like, yeah, where th I, Thirteen Reasons Why, in my opinion, completely misses the point. Like, it, it just, it's just so fucking. Okay, I'm not gonna get. If I get into a rant on this shit, then it'll fucking last forever. Mm -hmm. But. 13 Reasons Why is a total mishandling of suicide, okay? It is bad. But, anyway, um, yeah, anyway, this movie's fucking great, okay? This movie's great, it's positive, okay? It'll make you feel sad, but in a happy way, <laughs> you we know? We got time That's the... up right now. 
left. Yeah, no. But watch this movie. Don't watch 13 Reasons. Watch this. Watch this movie. Okay, watch this movie. Watch this movie. All right, or watch about fucking. <laughs> about to rate the movie. I've, I've said okay, all um, that I've, I've said about the movie. I mean, you know. Did we touch on the true meaning of I want to eat your pancreas? Did we touch on that? Okay. Let me reconnect again. Oh, man. Like, are you are you actually dying? And it says, like, well, we're all dying, right? I mean, she's, she's yeah. right. Right. Yeah, like, technically, right. everybody's dying. It doesn't matter, you know, she's like, I could die in five seconds. I could die tomorrow. I could die for not a very long time because you never truly, really know, right? Yeah. It's just, you know, just focus on, right? Like that, yeah. I'm glad that you guys covered that because I did want to talk about that. But yeah, I mean, I, I I'm pretty much done giving my opinion about this movie. It's really yeah, good. Yeah, I think. Did you yep, rate it? It's a really good movie. I think. Huh? Did you rate it? My oh, internet oh, just I cut think. out. Um, I have a. Problem no, we didn't. We we didn't. Oh no no no. We I, didn't. We didn't. We didn't rate it. It keeps switching to like extensions that don't work because they say that they've got three bars of internet and then it'll be like, okay, your internet's out, but you're connected, so. Oh. It just keeps doing that. Weird. Even though I forget the sword. Forget the device and stuff. Yeah, we, we, we haven't rated it yet. Okay. I just Do you have anything else sure. to say, Matt? Or? Uh, did you end up talking about the true meaning of I want to eat your pancreas? Is like them wanting to be each other. We kind of touched I on think that. I, I was, I was going to leave that up to the uh, the audience, right? To go figure <laughs> it out. Because, okay. you know, I don't... Yeah, we, we gave we gave a lot away about the movie. Now there's... Hey, some, we there, just spoiled people are gonna, right at the beginning. But... People, people are going to come and be like, why the fuck is it named I want to eat your pancreas? And then you just reply <laughs> to them and be like, watch the movie. Be like, shut up, idiot. <laughs> this, is, this is why. No, just no, not like that. But that's not. You, but you know what I mean. If you guys, if you guys want to explain it, go ahead. But I mean, uh, we touched on it a little yeah, bit. We touched a little on bit. It a little yeah. Bit. We don't want to touch on it too much because it's kind of just right, based around that yeah. idea. Right. Okay. I think we could go ahead and review it. If you yeah. Want. But before we do that, let's go that. ahead and do our usual thing. Movies are subjective. The only way to like for anyone to review a movie is to watch it themselves and we definitely right. recommend that you watch this movie it is extremely well made uh even if you watch the the english dub it doesn't matter the story is what really drives this movie uh, mm -hmm. so movies are subjective review it yourself so now we're gonna get into our reviews so uh who wants to start ty let's get you to start because um, it's your movie yeah so. Yeah, I recommended it, so I guess I'll go first. Um, this movie has been a favorite of mine for a long fucking time. I first watched it like, like, shh, like when it. Oh, I watched it when it came out, like, like it came out in 2018. So I've, I've been a fan of this movie for a long time. And like I said, I've watched it many, many times. Uh, sometimes with other people, sometimes by myself. I think this movie is fucking beautiful. I think it's one of the best anime movies ever created, and I think everyone should watch it. Um, it has. A couple problems uh, with pacing in the beginning. That's really the only flaw I can think of. Like, other, and like things that other than things that aren't really relative to the actual story. Like the dub being not as good as the sub. Oh well, not the movie's fault. But um, so yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna fucking say it. This this movie on an enjoyment factor is gonna be my first ever ten. It gets a ten out of ten for me on enjoyment. Now, objectively, I'd say it's maybe like an eight, but and from en from enjoyment and 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 uh, how much I took away from it, this movie absolutely gets a ten from me. You want to go ahead, Austin? Yeah, sure. Uh, you know, I I would I, I this, this is definitely one of one movie that I would recommend, and you know, this is my my first anime movie and. You know, I, I was I was really hesitant at first, but it really really came around. Uh, I I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten, uh, based on the fact that the the uh, beginning was a little slow and uh, some of the voice acting like delivery was a little bit spotty. But besides that, I mean that has a great nice flowing plot once you get past like the first like ten or like twenty minutes. You know, after mm -hmm. after that, you're hooked. It's it's good. I, I would definitely recommend. I, badass seal of approval. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
I'm gonna say this is this is definitely I'm gonna save my ten for another movie. Uh, mm. So I'm gonna give this one a nine, and here's why I give it a nine. I like the music. I like uh, I like the characters, but I don't like the English dub for Sakura. We talked about it. Uh, and she just team seems the voice actress for her just seems like they're trying to just be too quirky with her, just too much of the mm-hmm. anime like mm-hmm. voice thing. Um, it's just a, it's just too much. Now I like uh, the Hik- Hikaru. Is that <laughs> any Haruki, Haruki? Haruki. Haruki. I like Haruki's voice actor. And I'm okay with Kyoko's actor, even though she's sometimes barely in the movie. Um, I I really enjoyed this movie. I, I think it was really enjoyable. It's it discusses like it it makes death sort of a joke, but then in the end it kind of just like okay yeah death is part of life we live we Mm -hmm. die it's just how we are as humans uh so i i I like that and i like how it's more like celebrating life instead of looking and like looking this movie doesn't focus on the dark all the time it it tries Mm -hmm. to make it lighthearted and more like happy while having like a subtle tone of like yeah she's gonna die um which I, I really I, I find enjoyable. It's not it's not like uh, what, what what movie would I compare it to that's dark all the time and just sad the entire movie. Um, I don't know. I might compare it to. Do you guys have any idea of something that I mean? Like you could dark movie. if you could mm-hmm. if okay. So if you if you if you did it. Matt, I know you come from this spot, but if you watched Berserk and didn't know that it was only the beginning of the story uh if like if you watched the three movies and you didn't know it was the beginning of the story i would say it's kind of like that you know what i mean yeah like because because in berserk berserk as the 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 berserk movies like i you know they're one fifth of the whole entire story so the way it ends off on is like holy shit this is so fucking sad it's kind of like the opposite of that but then again like i said berserk isn't really about that it's about the I'm not, you know, okay, uh, I'm, I'm getting off topic, but you know what yeah. I mean, you know what We're I mean. We're gonna, 30 minutes of just berserk. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, I'll stop, I'll stop there. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll compare it to berserk, because, um, which you should definitely listen to our episode and just watch the golden age. Uh, I, read the golden age, don't golden watch age. it, read it. Hey, a lot of people aren't in the reading nowadays. We got short, I know, att- but. We got short attention spans. We got sh- but, I know. Yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah. Berserk is kind of dark. It's sad. It doesn't have too many happy points. And when it does have a happy point, it touches on it lightly. Uh, this is no, ex- no, 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 no. This is my review. No, no, this no, no, no. It's I know, but you said something wrong. Yeah. Yeah. You said something wrong. Subjective. It's subjective. <laughs> Matt, you said something wrong. I've been I reading it. You. I've been reading it. Oh, you have. It's subjective. Oh, what, chapter? what chapter? I'm. What chapter are you on? I don't know. I don't have it up right now. Okay, okay, okay. I, I'm, okay, I'm on one of the that. later chapters, probably like 20. I'm, I'm pretty... Oh, okay. I'm somewhat into it, somewhat not. I, I read it when I have the time to. Uh, but it, it, remember, it's got to be subjective. You might find it that way. I might find it differently. Uh, so that's that's kind of how I am right now. And I'm not super uh, far into it. But that's kind of the vibe I get right now from it. It just seems mm-hmm. like a lot of dark, but that's what I'm going to say is that I give it a 9. I don't want to give it a 10 because I'm going to save my 10 for something extremely good. And I, I feel like this one is it's good to an extent, but then there's some parts that aren't as well done. I think I would have mm-hmm. liked listening to the Japanese dub and just reading the subtitles on it. Um, but that's my review of it. And then let's go ahead and do recommendations. Uh, okay. I'll do mine last because my pick's next week. Yeah. Okay. Um, sh- should I go ahead and go first? Yeah, go ahead, Doc. Yep. Okay. Um, okay, I actually have to think of one, so I'm going to try to pull one out of All right. You, uh, so you want me to go ahead and say mine first? Yeah, yeah. Go Yeah. Go ahead. All right. So I remembered now. Uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't look at the, uh, the uh, what's it called, the video from last week, but I do remember 
saying to Matt, all right, I'm pretty sure this was in last week's video when we did Shazam. I was like, I was like, oh, I want to watch Bill and Ted face the music because it's got Keanu Reeves in it. And then Matt was mm. like, have you seen any of the other Bill and Ted's? And I was like, no, I haven't. He's like, all right, we got to we got to watch those first, right? Mm. So then I was sitting there and I was like, I was like, okay, we're gonna keep on scrolling through, and I think I think I said I wanted to watch the original RoboCop. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a yeah, classic. Yeah, I feel I feel like I feel like that's what I said. So I want to. I don't think you said that it. in the episode. I think you said that messaging me. Right. Well, I said I said that, but I, I don't know. I remember I, you maybe. said Bill and Ted face the music, and then I was like. Mm. You haven't seen you haven't seen the I haven't seen any of the other ones so we gotta watch those first. Yeah. But yeah, so I, I my my uh my recommendation is RoboCup, the original one, nineteen eighty seven. Okay, all right. Um, I'm gonna second your notion of um of eighties fantasy uh, not fantasy eighties sci fi movies, uh, with uh, Blade Runner the original Blade Runner. Um, I've recommended it a couple times ago, but uh, I kind of forgot, but this this is Blade Runner, the original Blade Runner uh, from 1982. Without the voiceovers, is like my favorite sci-fi movie of all time. It's my favorite. It's a sci-fi action. It's my favorite sci-fi movie like ever, and it, and it's aged like fine wine, like beautifully. So, yeah, that's my recommendation. Okay, uh, I changed my pick last week. I said I'd do Shrek the Musical, but then we got off. We got off on a tangent <laughs> earlier, and I was like, that'd be a really good pick, and I'm going to do Akira for next week's okay. podcast. All right. I, I've, I've been interested in it for a while, so I thought that would be a pretty interesting pick. Plus, I kind of want to keep on this anime thing for a little bit, because I've really been okay. enjoy, enjoying the anime picks. So I'm glad you have been enjoying them. Um yeah, Akira is... I'm glad you picked Akira because Akira is one of the most culturally important movies of all time. Like, I think people... Like, a lot of older people are really usually aware of it, but Akira is what single-handedly brought anime to America. Like, like it's what made anime become the cool fucking underground, like, edgy cartoons. Like, that... Akira started that. Akira did that. Like, it, it is no question, like, responsible for that. Like make it pretty much entirely so um yeah Akira's a great choice it's in uh you'll really love it you'll really 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 hey, love it. it's a great movie ty i know we've talked about it before you want to know where i know akira from um no yeah go ahead tell me ready player one okay uh, uh, uh <laughs> oh no no <laughs> okay, we're gonna um, leave off on this note let's go ahead and end the episode uh on that uh, on that note, um, <laughs> say bye, Ty. Let's say goodbye. bye, Ty. Goodbye. Good riddance. Leave bye, me be. <laughs> Make sure to like, subscribe, bye. comment, uh, recommend us movies. Uh, bye. <laughs>